What up guys, happy, happy Saturday. Today we've got one of these Liter Eco Plus 230 pumps that are commonly seen in uh, extraction lab. I'm just going to open it up, clean out the impellers because uh, I think they're a little bit gunked up. And then uh, from there I'll uh, put her back together. But I thought I'd make just a quick video showing what I'm doing just because uh, I couldn't see any online and um, I bet you there's lots of other guys out there in the cannabis industry using these pumps. Uh, one thing I found out with these pumps is that they need to be positioned above, um, sorry, below your uh, your reservoir drain or else they suck in a lot of air and they get airlocked really easily. So once they're airlocked, you can just kind of remove that a little bit, allow the uh, air to escape and allow the suction to uh, come back. But sometimes you think the pump is broken, but it's actually just an airlock. But uh, let's get started. First thing you uh, got to do is uh, take the little fan shroud off. And these are usually you can just pull them off, but sometimes you need a screwdriver. Okay, now we can, okay, this one I can actually hear water still in it, and I can feel one of the impellers are hitting something, so, right there. Might be gunked up with some hash, but we, uh, we take the little fr uh, fan cover off on the back, and that exposes uh, a spot where you can put a flathead screwdriver to stop the actual... Uh, the actual motor from uh, moving. So when you have to take the impellers off, you can throw a screwdriver in the end, like you can see with my hand here, and you can hold it steady, right? So once you've got that back uh, fan off, you can move the pump sideways. And when you start taking out these four bolts here, and just using an Allen key or a socket, um, I have no clue. Oh, there, a five millimeter Allen key is what uh, I use here. So easy peasy. Once we get these off, I'll uh, I'll jump back in here. Let me uh, start though. These are uh, really long screws or bolts, sorry, and make sure you don't lose that washer. But once you've got them all loosened up, you can pull them all out, and it'll uh, free up this first little. Uh, uh, impeller housing here. Now that all four are out, you could take just a, a flat head and carefully pull off this first section here. And oh, look at that. This is why you got to clean these pumps, guys. So I'll just put this in the sink. All that gunk stuck in there. You don't want that stuff going through your lines, recirc. So next section here can be pulled right out, straight out. Watch out for this gasket here. But this section can be pulled right out. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the, um, the auto, uh, I forget what it's called, but besides the point, you can see plastic, you can see some plastic in here, some more plastic down here. The uh, auto water priming, that's what, what it is. So once you've got this set out, you can actually now take off this second housing here. Again, with the uh, screwdriver flathead, you just gently prying it off. 
once it comes off, come straight out and you can see she is all completely gunked up. Look at that. In the sink. Now once you've got, don't be, uh, don't be alarmed if these start separating. These are just the each individual impellers. And since there's three impellers on here, there'll be three separate little, little sections in here. So once you've got that all separated, you can see how gross and gunky that is. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a half inch socket on an impact. And your, this is where the flat head in the back, that's why the, the reason why we removed that fan housing. And we loosen that off. There's a bolt and there's a washer. So don't lose those. And if you guys wanna pause it here so you guys can see how it looks like when uh, you put it back together. Because if you flip it this around, it doesn't actually fit back in. So let's take off the first impeller. Again, these just slide right out. You don't have to worry about any springs because there is a lock nut in the bottom of it. It's just a plastic impeller. The one thing you do have to uh, uh, look for is that this first one doesn't have a rubber seal. As you can see here, there's no rubber seal. But if we go into the next... There's a rubber seal on this one, on the second one, and there's a rubber seal on the on the last one. You can see this rubber seal has actually seen better days. So Again, you can see it is all dirty, needs to be cleaned. And at the very end of these, there is two washers as well. Remember that those are all the way in. You can see there's the little lock, the ring, the locking ring there, which holds the actual ceramic bearing in. So don't mess with that or else you'll have to replace the bearing. But now you're pretty much just cleaning all of these pieces, sanding down your shaft right here, making sure all of the impellers are perfect, no cracks or anything in them and then reassembling. Uh, you can see there's some more rubber gasket right here. Replace the gaskets as needed. And uh, go from there. Let me uh, clean all these parts in the sink, get all the, uh, the gunk off of it, and then we will, uh, I'll be right back. So, uh, some movie magic. Cheers guys. Okay, now that we've scrubbed down all of, our, all of our pieces and everything's nice and clean, we can sand down the shaft here to make sure that there's no rust or any bumps stuck to that so that the impellers can slide back on nice and easy. And then we can uh, start to reassemble it. Let me uh, get that sanding. I just use uh, whatever I have on me. So it's just 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, boom. Get some uh, paper towel to wipe that down. The one thing to note is these little grooves right here, as you can see here, they are the ones that are facing forward. So that's one thing to remember. So let's uh, put this in. It just fits right in there. Our first impeller. The impeller only fits on one way, so 
Keep spinning it. There you go. Get our next piece in there. And remember, this is the one with that gasket. There it is, the gasket. Push it in there and just kind of press it in. Once you screw it all in, it'll press everything together again. So now, you, again, the little fins are pointed towards you. We can put our second impeller on. Just making sure there's no cracks or anything in it. There, two. And again, our final one. With the final impeller right here. And one, it, once that's all set, uh, put together, you've got your washer and your nut. Washer and the nut. And this is when you will use the the impact and the flathead in the back to tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten this. Just needs to be Just needs to be right. We can slide the housing over now. And an easy way to do this now that we're working uh, kind of from the top down, we can add the, uh, the fan protector on the back again. I was just to put it that on its butt end. We've got this main uh, impeller uh, housing here the priming the little bubble sits on the top so make sure you put that on the top and you don't have to force this down because once you start putting all the bolts in it forces it down nicely so you just have to just kind of set it up on top the flat section goes in this section stays out it just fits right just fits like that so you can see the gaps facing forward the little, the little line is faced up is the way I install it. And then the gasket down. You've got another gasket that's gotta go on. And again, this one's also a pain, so bear with me. Okay, gasket's on, the housing's on, and our last part is the face here. You can slide this on as well. And then our four bolts go right back where they were. And then this is when we'll tighten it up with the Allen key again, the five millimeter Allen key, and you tighten it up just like how you would tighten up a car tire. And that star, just so it evenly compresses down. As I'm tightening this, every, uh, tightening this, everything is starting to compress down. All the seals are compressing. You can see I've almost tightened all of them and this gap is starting to close in. Same with this gap up here. Once It doesn't have to be completely closed, but it has to be pretty even all the way around. I still have to screw in a couple of these. Done. And then from there, you plug it in, you test it, if she's working, awesome. If she's not working, take it apart again. Let's uh, plug into the wall and uh, see if she runs. You don't wanna uh, have these running for very long without uh, any water in them, but you can just plug it in to test it. Sounds like it's running pretty good to me. That's it. Very, very easy. Just cleaning everything in there, making sure everything's nice and sanitary. You can keep some uh, ISO in here to make sure nothing sticks. 
and uh, go from there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, very, very simple. I know a lot of guys get a little bit uh, turned away when they have to start taking apart their expensive pumps and stuff, but it is really simple. I hope uh, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching. Peace. Love. And cheers.